people just don't understand it. People make fun of you at school, and you tell them that you have a disease and they don't believe you. It's sort of very frustrating to get up in the morning and you wonder how you're going to do in school when you can barely control your eyes, your, your vocal cords. It's great to be a kid. There are so many exciting and interesting things to do. So much to learn and see and enjoy. Like you, these kids want to go for it. Like you, they have their good times and their bad ones. They like to have friends and fun. But these kids have one thing you probably don't have. They all have Tourette's syndrome. They helped make this film to explain what Tourette syndrome is. Tourette is not easy to understand, and it can cause trouble at home, at the school, and in the community. William Shatner taking a break from filming. I got interested in Tourette syndrome after meeting somebody who had it. I wondered what caused it. The brain is the control center for your body. It regulates breathing, heartbeat, and the control you have over your muscles and speech. People with Tourette syndrome have lost part of that control. Because of imbalances in the brain, the person with Tourette syndrome makes movements or sounds called tics, which they do not want to make. The Tourette tick is an uncontrolled sound or movement. I found out that I had my Tourette's for since second grade when um, I was I kept whipping people with my jacket, and we found out that that was, I couldn't help it. Kids kept saying that I, that there was nothing, that I could help it and there was nothing wrong except I couldn't. Also, it was, it was, I had a hard time staying in my seat. When I'm up in the blocks, if you're watching me swim, you can see me doing all, every single tourettic that I can think of just to get it out of my system before I race. Oh, another one of my tread ticks is when I drag my toe while I'm walking. Before a race one day, I dragged it and I sliced off the end of my toe just before a breaststroke race. Um, we bandaged it up and I still got first place and I improved my time. Before I knew what, that I had Tourette, I mean, I thought it was just a bad habit, and so, it, so did everyone else, so it was pretty hard for me, because even my best friend kept telling me to stop it. And the more they tried to get me to stop it, the worse I got. And so that was pretty hard. One incident, I remember, we were sitting at the dinner table, and I would make these really funny squeak noises, annoy everybody. And my parents would say something like, well, would you like to be excused from the table? Are you going to cut that out? Or just, you know, regular things that they would say if you make noise at the table. 
and I don't know, I felt really bad, like I was going crazy and hurt everybody's feelings, and just, I just felt like I was going crazy. It's frustrating when your body does something you don't want it to, over and over again. It can even be painful and get in the way of other things you want to do. Can you imagine how bad it feels when other people tease you about something you don't like and you can't control? I want you to meet my friend, Adam Seligman. He's a writer, and he has Tourette syndrome. Of all the symptoms a person can have, and I've had a lot of them, spitting and swearing are probably the hardest for other people to understand. <laughs> when people first meet me, they sometimes get very upset or angry because of my symptoms. But when they take the trouble to get to know me, they realize that I can't help it. And I don't mean the swear words I say. Sometimes I do, but most of the times I don't. While playing a sport and other activities where the person is totally focused on what's happening, Tourette ticks may go away for a short while. Jeff Bathiani is training for the Olympics in the decathlon. Because he has Tourette himself, Jeff got interested in helping kids understand it better, both those who have it and those who don't. and in school too is that different people have different abilities you may be good at one thing and not so good at another everyone is or could be someday handicapped in some way that's no reason not to try your best and go for what you want Tourette syndrome is just one type of handicap do you kids have any questions you'd like to ask me on Tourette syndrome okay right here how was it when you were little were you um kind of getting um, tired of everybody making fun of you and stuff, or did anybody make fun of you? I didn't get Tourette till I was about 15, and they did make fun of me, and it was hard to cope with at the time, okay? If a guy came up to you with a gun and told you to stop it, or he'll shoot, could you stop it, and how long? Well, I really, I really couldn't answer that question. Uh, can anybody answer that that has it? Okay, could you stop? Uh, not for ever. I mean, I could stop for a few minutes, but then I just do something different than I normally do. Uh-huh. That's probably what I would do. Do you try to hide your Tourette's? Um, not really. Not most of the time. I know that I there's nothing I can do about it, so if you just accept it, it's a lot easier to cope with. Do you get, do you get ticks when you're doing something athletic? Uh, not most of the time. If I'm really concentrating on something like pole vine or something, no, I really don't. It seems like when your mind is really concentrating on something, you forget about it. Okay, right here. What's the hardest part about having Tourette? The hardest part of Tourette syndrome, I would probably say, is the people ridiculing you only because they don't understand what it is. I think you just go out and tell them what you have. Once they know, then they probably won't tease you again. Okay, let's have some people answer that. Why? Why do you get like upset? Sometimes you're going to do some work and you keep going like that and can't do the work with your... So it gets in your way of doing things, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, sometimes when you're at a meeting or something, you're doing all your Tourette stuff and people look over you and then you're... Once you do it a lot, you're sort of like the main attention, you know, mm -hmm. and you don't, you don't like to be... Do you feel when people look at you and you notice that they're looking at you, do you do it more? Yeah. Okay. When people are um, looking at you and they call you um, names. The hardest part about having Tourette's is that people make fun of you at school and you tell them that you have a disease and they don't believe you. I don't care if you have it. I mean, I mean, 
if he's just friends, though. We should, your friends shouldn't be teasing your friends. Everybody I hang around with is my close friends and everything, and they don't tease me about anything, because you know that they're not really friends if they tease you. Well, when I change schools again, I'll be going in high school, and we'll be having senior proms and everything, and sometimes I'll be wondering if boys will be asking me to, to date or something like that. It just doesn't feel right. You constantly have to say, oh, I'm sorry, I've got Tourette syndrome. I'd say the hardest thing about having Tourette's is some people just don't understand it. I know um, a few kids whose dads are doctors. We've told their parents, we've told them. They still don't understand it. They just think that I can help it and I, I can stop it and I'm just doing it to annoy them. Joey, can you stop it? I can't stop it. Thank you.